Hey guys, we have some super exciting news to share with you, and that is Maui has just done his first flight outside without a harness on. Yeah, that's right. This is what we've been building up to over all these months since bringing baby Maui home in August 2021 is to get him to a point where he's confident enough and trained enough to free fly outside. And he's done his very first short recall flights this stage, but we're super proud of him. So let's first just do a quick recap on Maui's journey so far. So when Maui was very young, we started off with harness training. The harness we're using is the large aviator harness. There will be a link in the description for that harness. And it's just a case of really introducing them to the harness very slowly. As you can see lots of rewards, one step at a time. First, we're just showing it to him. And then after about two weeks, we're able to do this, where we're able to get one wing over the time and put the harness on. Always telling him what we're doing. So we'll say head first, then we'll say wing, then we'll say other wing, giving him rewards in between. Um, now we hardly have to give him any rewards at all. We probably might give him one reward for putting the entire thing on. He's got a lot better with it. But this was a very early days to get him used to wearing the harness. There was a note there that just popped up to say that we'd put the harness attachment onto our waist, onto the belt buckle. We don't do it anymore. We actually prefer it on the wrist. It's much, much easier than wrist, so ignore that comment. This is actually part of an older video. If you haven't seen the full version of this, make sure you check it out. Again, link will be below. So the next step really was to get Mary used to wearing the harness, but actually take him around and do something with him. So it wasn't just a case of putting it on, then taking it off, putting it on, taking it off. Then you know that if it goes on, he gets to do something. So he used to, this used to like going around the house. So he's taken around, shown different rooms of the house, because before this he'd normally be kept in one room. Now, some five months on, he actually goes around the house wherever he wants to go. But this, at this time, was a treat for him. So it's a case of, you put the harness on, now you get to do a treat, you get to do something different, and then we'll take the harness off. And then each time we we're doing this, we were introducing the harness for a longer and longer period of time. And of course, not to forget that taking the harness off is as important as putting the harness on. From the point of view, you want to make sure the bird is completely calm. So again, extra rewards while we're doing this, and again, telling him what we're doing as well. And that has really paid off. You'll be surprised how much macaws understand, what words they understand. So we tell him one wing at a time, we tell him what wing we're doing, then we say to him, other wing, and then finally we say head, and then we'll see in a minute he'll put his head down and let us take it off his head. And we still do that today, and it works extremely well. He sits in his perch very patiently, while we take the harness off and then we give him a final reward once it's off completely. That's it, good boy, well done Maui, yay, well done. So once we're able to get the harness on and off with ease and walking around the house with ease as well, we decided the next positive step was to take him outside. So this is the second time that he was out in the garden. And again, if you've not seen the full clip, make sure you check that out, link will be below. Um, it really gained the idea of this is just to get him used to different surroundings because before he was used to one room in the house originally then he was used to the entire house different rooms got more comfortable than that and then this game first time outside getting used to the wind the different sounds the noise the fact that you can see the sky the birds and it's all about giving them enrichment and also getting them used to their surroundings as well so we continued this training much like we did around the house it's a case of every time the harness comes on at this point Maybe the harness goes on and then the reward is to go outside for a period of time. Initially only five minutes or so and then we extended that to a longer and longer period of time so we get used to actually being in the garden. And then we bought some additional perches for the garden as well. We have a perch that stays out there all the time with a great big piece of apple tree branch on there. You have to be super careful as to what trees you use as branches for your perches. Um, because some trees are poisonous for different parrots, and especially macaws. So apple tree is absolutely fine. He loves it. He loves picking the bark off it, and it gives him a place to go back to. So he knows that that's his safe place when he goes in the garden, is his actual perch with the branch on it. And then once he was used to the garden, the next step was to take him outside, as in outside, out of our property, and for short walks around the block. Initially just down to probably less than 100 yards, probably about 50 yards, down to where we have a couple of trees. Um, which he used to play in, and then we extended those walks further and further until we could walk around the block. Yes, we definitely got some odd looks, which is absolutely fine, and we've got lots of friendly neighbours and people around in our village who often stop and talk to us about him and find out more about him, which is absolutely lovely. But that's all good, because again, he's getting used to a different environment, and he's also getting used to different people. We did find that Mario went through a stage where that he would really be attached to just Louise and I and be a bit funny with strangers, but he's starting to get out of that now. It's going to take a bit of time. It's going to take him time to get used to other seeing other people around. Um, and this is really helping him get over that. And on New Year's Eve 2021, so New Year's just gone, we had a very big day for Maui. Um, 
we put the harness back on him. It hadn't been on him for some time during this period because it had been horrible, horrible weather and obviously darker evenings and more restrictive. So we've managed to get the harness back on him and we actually we took him out to the local park. So this was a big day because it's the very first time that he got to go in his travel cage. Again, if you've not seen this video, please um, check out the link that I'll put in the description below. The travel cage we're using is actually a dog cage. It's a large dog cage. We find it works particularly well. Right now, this is the very first time that he's going in it. Um, since being in it now, probably about a dozen times, he's absolutely goes in with, with ease. He steps up into it without a problem. But you see from the first time I put him in it, he wasn't that interested. He wanted to keep coming back out, but he's got used to it because he knows again that if he goes in the travel cage, he gets to go and do something. Same as when we're putting the harness on originally, puts the harness on, he got to walk around the house or he got to go out in the garden or he got to go for a walk around the block. Now the harness is all about go in the harness, you go in the travel cage and you go to the park or to fam some family houses. So he's much better at this now, but this is the very first time we put him in there. And then that enabled us to take him to the park. We're pretty lucky that we have a park just a few minutes away from our house, um, which is ideal for the very first time that Mary went into his travel cage. Just want to make sure he's okay inside the car. So we see we left our back seats down so we could still see him to make sure he wasn't falling off his perch or getting too upset or too distressed, which he didn't at all. So that was super cool. And pretty much like our garden, we brought a perch with us. Now the idea with behind this is that it's Maui's safe space. So by having a perch, he knows he can always go back to the perch and he can land that perch. And we're gonna continue this throughout all of his training and even when we're free flying him as well. So when he's off the harness, he'll know that he can always land back on his perch. So he knows that is a safe space. So again, this is the first time we took him out. Just took the perch off. Unfortunately, it was an absolutely gray day and a very windy day. But again, the full video is available below. So you can see that. On his first trip out, he was quite reserved. Obviously, again, everything is brand new. If you think about it, this is the biggest space that Maui has ever been in. Not only has he just gone in a car and in travel cage for the first time, but he's now gone to the park, which is an absolutely massive open space. There's other birds around. On this particular visit, there wasn't any other people there, which was probably a good thing. Uh, but we did notice that, you know, he was very reluctant to leave my hand or Louise's hand. He did do some training. We started off slowly with just some um, step up training from the perch to the hand and then some touch training using a stick and a clicker uh, and then we managed to get him to do some, a few short hops and a few short flights to us from the perch. Since since filming this particular clip he's been to the park probably as I said about half a dozen times and with each time he's getting more and more confident. He's going slightly further away from his perch. We have now have a harness extension which gives us an extra six meters on addition to the harness that's already attached to him, we've just ordered a second extension which will give us a further 12 meters to allow him to go further from the perch but still be safe. Like I said, in this clip, the harness is attached to the perch but we've now changed that as suggested by one of our followers, Kevin, um, to attach it to our wrist to give us more control and to be able to, him to be able to go further as well and be closer, well, gets closer to us from the point of view we're attached but also just make it easier for him rather than pulling the perch over or possibly getting tangled with the perch. So as you can see, this is probably the very first time they, they come across. First time he's been in wind as well. That's a brand new consideration for him. He's not done that before, not flown in wind. So he's doing well, he's doing really well. So we've been doing lots and lots of trips to our local park, practicing regal training all the time while on the harness, sometimes on a 40 foot harness as well. And he's been getting better and better with it. And then today in May, we decided that we'd take him somewhere different. So that was a little bit risky, he's not been here before. But we chose this place because it's completely wide and open. There's hardly anybody around. There's not many dogs, there's not many trees, but they're often in the distance. It's flat, it isn't top of a hill, but it's away from cars and everybody. So we thought this is a good time, because he's been so good with his recall. Just take his harness off and watch and see what he does. There's an airplane right up high somewhere. Can't even see it. Let's 
colours look great. Hello, Mary. Mary, come. Come. Mary, come. Good boy, good fly, Maui. Well done. You have a treat. So Maui have done about 10 flights like this while we're out of him, just short flights between us, probably five, six meters apart maximum. He didn't go off and fly any circuits. He didn't go out of sight at all at any time. It did take a bit of encouragement to get off of the perch and do some flying. I think that again, that's because it's a brand new surrounding. There were a few planes in the sky, he tends not to fly. There are planes in the sky at the moment. But overall, we think that's really sort of a massive success. So what we also let him do is just have a play around on the ground. Can I see me now? Off my shoe. For this space, no harness, I'm going to my shoe. Maui? So after a while it was pretty obvious Mao was getting tired so we decided to put his harness back on to carry him back down to the car. I think we're going to do this part of his routine from now going forward. We'll make sure his harness is on, put him in the car, take him out, leave his harness on, get him to his perch where he's going to fly from, then take his harness off. So he's not yet confident enough to take, take him out without a harness at all. So we'll keep doing this and we'll keep doing the same location as well. So we're going to make sure we do all his flying now from that location so he gets more and more familiar with it. Hopefully he'll start doing circuits soon or just flying further and further distance during recall. So we'll keep repeating that over and over again. Hopefully the next couple of months we'll get to a point where Maui is completely confident and doing circuits and of course Boy. doing lots of recall. So super successful, like I said about 10 flights back and forward, up to about 6 metres apart at a time, maybe slightly further but no harness. So a big, big step forward for Maui. So thanks a lot. We'll do another update in a few months time and hopefully we've got that a little bit further. All the best. Thanks. Bye.